President Uhuru Kenyatta is about to form government. You have written extensively about the economy and largely painted a picture of gloom and doom about where we are and where we are heading and the decisions that have been made. So if President Kenyatta informing his new government decides, here's my biggest critic, he sees and knows all the bad things with the Kenyan economy. How about I get him into my government to fix those problems? Would you take such a job? No. Why? One, you work for people you respect. Do you respect level. the Kenyan people? Are you working for a man or the country? No, I, you would have to work with them every day, and I don't respect them. And I think it is dishonest uh, to there. I would have to pretend and call them sir, which I don't mean. Yeah. So, and I have a principled person. So I, you stand to critique, but not to do anything about it. I no. Being can in, you do no, something no, 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 about being, it? Being in government is not how to. The, the idea there is a there is a. There is a presumption in Kenya that only in government do you, can you make a contribution to society. That what I'm doing is not important. Uh, that, like but being he'd, a, he'd like be acknowledging, being a he'd be acknowledging that what you've been doing in critiquing is consider, so important I, that he now wants you to transition consider, to put that he, into it is action. Not, I don't think he's qualified uh, to chat my cause about how I contribute to my country. Uhuru is not my peer, professionally, intellectually, anywhere. Um, but you choose to look at it as to the no, person no, no, Uhuru no, that no, you say you do not point. respect. But I'm what saying, about the I'm Kenyan people? I'm the following people? point. I consider uh, uh, ensuring and uh, fighting to restore democracy in Kenya fundamentally more important and long term mm -hmm. uh, than trying to uh, rescue people mm -hmm. uh, from their own mess, uh, which I have pointed out for many years, mm -hmm. even long, and everybody's coming around to my view um, that uh, the path, even they have, have, have approached me occasionally to say, okay, yes. we now acknowledge that you say the economy is on the right track, is on the wrong track. And uh, this thing, you see, was what is the right track? And I have to listen. The democracy works as follows. You play, you pay. Okay? So, I am on the other side. I told you, I'm the leader of the NASA policy team. Uh, if you read the manifesto, which I, which I led the team to produce, it has stated how we ourselves would go about those, uh, those, uh, those dealing with those challenges. Mm -hmm. I have spoken about them if people ask me. What I will not do is undermine democracy uh, would by you work going, with the government at an advisory then capacity to help that, the country? Been there, done that. Now, would you do it no. now? I have done it before, uh, many times. Um, I worked very hard on the economic recovery strategy. Uh, so you intend to continue point. throwing stones, as some people would put it? Ah, yes, absolutely, because it's important. That role is very important. Uh, the roles which are being suggested are more lucrative. Yeah, it is the easier path. Yeah? And I don't need anything. <laughs> I don't need anything. I don't need any more money. <laughs> I don't need another home. Uh, I actually don't need anything uh, material mm -hmm. from government. So I am going to, I will continue doing what I believe in. Okay. As we bring this to a close, 2017 closing in a few days. What's your outlook? What are you looking forward to? I am looking forward to our um, people's assembly process. Um, I think to me that, that is probably the most uh, sort of uh, the thing I'm most committed to. Yes. Because it is, uh, it is actually breathing life into the Constitution. And breathing life in the most important part of the Constitution, mm -hmm. which is about the, the supremacy of the Constitution and sovereignty of the people. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there are other people who are more preoccupied with, the, as I said, with the, this development mantra that development is more important than politics. But uh, I am of the school of, of thought that uh, the fundamental problems that uh, de even development uh, problem of this country is that it was built on a weak political foundation from day one. And uh, as long as that political foundation remains weak, 
anything else you build on it will crumble okay. at some point. Mm. So I think this, to me, the crisis is an opportunity uh, to go back to the drawing board right. as people uh, and see whether we can actually use uh, that constitution mm -hmm. um, to, to, re to, re to renegotiate uh, our nationhood right. and build a strong political foundation. Mm -hmm. I've accomplished that. I'll play golf for the rest of my life. Would you ever run for political office? Never say never, but it's not at uh, this point anything I'm considering. Yeah? If you would, what would it be? I don't know. I said I'm not, never say never. <laughs> never say never. Um, it's not, I don't think that's my sort of uh, orientation as a yeah. person. I consider myself a, an intellectual. Okay. Um, but I've seen many intellectuals end up in politics and sometimes do well and sometimes do very badly. So never uh, say never. So I've never say never. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time, David D. Much appreciated. Thank you.